Science fiction movies have envisioned aircraft without pilots for generations, but this week at Fort Campbell, it became a reality. News Channel 5's Chris Davis takes an in-depth look at what this means for the future of the military. Your eyes are not deceiving you. That's video of a Black Hawk helicopter in the air without a pilot or any other human on board. There was a little bit of a landing on the moon moment just amongst our group, you know, clapping, and uh, we were very excited that we were able to do it. Stuart Young is part of DARPA, the military office that conducted the test at Fort Campbell this week. The program started a year and a half ago as a computer assistance program for pilots, but this latest test shows a pilot isn't even needed. We did fly a mission where we had simulated buildings in our in our way and we avoided them. Uh, we did that to demonstrate that we're not just, you know, going from A to B blindly. We actually can avoid, sense and avoid um, obstacles in the environment. Young believes unmanned flight opens up a world of possibilities from supply runs that can save money to riskier missions that could save lives. That gives them an opportunity to say, well, you know what, I'm not going to risk the uh, pilots, but I will risk the aircraft to go try to get help to the, you know, whoever might be a need. But we wanted to know, what do pilots think? Well, in some ways, it's kind of disappointing because I enjoy flying them so much. This retired Blackhawk pilot's emotions were a little mixed. On one hand, Glenn Castle knows in many scenarios, a computer might be better than a human. I think it's safe. I think what they're doing is pretty amazing. I think that's what we should be doing moving into the future. But he also wonders under enemy fire or if conditions change rapidly, if the technology can be fully trusted. I think we'll always have someone there that is can perform the true ongoing mission and be able to react, to, react to on the spot, not secondary information. Of course, the big question becomes, was this just a cool experiment or a sign of the future of the military as we know it? You know, it's not our place to show them, tell them how to use it. It's our job to show them that it can be done. Young says that's up to the top military brass. But if seeing is believing, video like this might become a more common sight. At Fort Campbell, Chris Davis, News Channel 5.